Bam Bam, what's up? It, who, there's a hair. There's a hair. There's a hair. This is why I don't wear lip gloss. Hey Fam Bam, it's Cece. Today we're just going to be doing a little chat because this is something that, you know, I have been struggling with and I thought maybe you guys have been struggling with this too and that is finding satisfaction in the place you are in your life right now while you're trying to achieve your goals. But first before we get into the video, you notice this cute little top I'm wearing? <laughs> Yes, it is from Rose Gal. They have really cute affordable stuff, so I just wanted to show you really quick a few of the things I got from Rose Gal before we dive into deeper discussion, you know? Then I also received this one. It says Sexy Baby. It has roses on it. It has fishnet on it. It's really, really cute. I got this little crop top. On Friday, I turn into a bad girl. Does it have to be Friday though? Because I feel like it's every day for me. Then I got this little bra top, which is kind of, <laughs> it's so cute. Look at the little ruffles and the sparkles. Adorable. I like things that have ruffles on them. Yes, I am a girly girl, even though that I know I have a short shaved head. Today we're wigging it out. Mm -hmm. Then I got this sweet little crop top ties in the front. It actually ended up being a little bit too small for me because my shoulders are wide, okay? It has no stretch in it, so this was the large. It is still too small for me. So if you're gonna order something that has no stretch in the fabric, just be aware of that. You might have to size up, girl. Last but not least, but this is the funniest fucking shit out of the whole like mini haul that we're doing right now. I got this meat shirt. The reason I got this is because Panda and I have a song called Piece of Meat by CC Panda. CC Panda! I just thought this could definitely come in handy when we do the Piece of Meat music video. I don't know. Anyway, make sure that you go check out Rose Gal. You can also use the discount code right here if you want to save a little bit of shmoney, honey. And now let's get into the rest of the video. So I just wanted to talk about this because this is something that I'm dealing with in my life as well. And that is finding satisfaction in where you are in your life right now. Here's the thing about it. Some people like to say it's good to be uncomfortable where you are in life because that'll give you the push and the motivation to reach your goals. I disagree. I disagree. I'm gonna tell you why I disagree right now. You are always going to be striving for something better. Once you reach a goal, you're always going to set a new goal. So does that mean you're gonna live your whole life uncomfortable and constantly pushing, pushing, pushing? I don't like that idea. Go with me here. If you can find a way to be happy and satisfied in where you are right now, that is a very high energetic level. That's a that's a very high vibration that you will be on. If you can authentically, like really be happy where you are and satisfied where you are right now. How do you do that? You appreciate the things around you. You appreciate the abundance of, maybe you don't have enough money, then you're not really appreciating the abundance of cash flow at this moment, but you can appreciate your abundance of love from your friends, from your family, an abundance of talent that you have. You just gotta find something that you have a lot of, okay? And really hone in on that and really find satisfaction in that. Because when you're satisfied, when you're happy, when you're on a high vibration, that is the energy that brings all the things in life that you want to you. So that you are not working, striving hard, 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 trying to get at those things. They will fall into your lap without you even trying, without you even thinking about them. If you are honestly satisfied and in a really, really good place. Now it can be, you know, easier said than done. I struggle with this myself because I'm a perfectionist. You know, most of us grow up thinking that you have to have this dedicated work ethic and you have to, you know, good things come to those who work hard and nothing worth anything comes easily. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that's absolutely not true. The best things in my life have come without any effort at all. The only effort I ever put in was making sure that I was happy on the inside and then all of it just fell into place. Whenever I effort to get something, it never fucking works out, almost never. The only time it really does work out for people is when their desire is so fucking strong, it overcomes all the effort that they're putting in, like seriously. There's a difference between working and efforting to work hard and working hard when you're inspired and it just kind of flows right out of you easily and fluidly 
and it feels good and you're energized and you're passionate about it and that's how you're working. There's a difference in the two different ways of working. Do you know what I'm saying? So always try to work when you're inspired, feeling good. Always search for that feeling good place. That's what you should be working hard at getting. Finding your alignment, finding your inner peace, finding your happiness and the rest of everything you want will work itself out. The universe will fucking figure it out, okay? The universe can figure it out way faster than you can. Those of you guys who know me and you've been with me for a long time, you know that the job that I found working with Red Foo and traveling all around the world as his backup dancer effortlessly fell into my lap. I did not audition for it. I did not go searching for that job. Literally, I was in a place in my life where I was just super excited and happy for a change that was taking place in my personal life. That alignment that I was finding just gave me the intuition to end up at the right time and the right place. Your intuition will lead you into those perfect opportunities that then you can grab a hold of. I know I might be getting a little deep for y'all, but this is all having to do with the law of attraction and how your job in life is to be happy and to find your inner alignment and the universe will work everything else out. Basically what I'm saying is when you have a goal and you haven't reached it yet, you can't constantly be upset that you're not reaching your goal because that means you are putting all the attention on the lack of reaching the goal and what happens with the law of attraction whatever you think about you're going to get so if you are thinking about how you don't have this job how you don't have the body that you want how you don't have the relationship that you want you're going to receive more of that lack of what you want so instead of pushing against the things you don't want you have to let that all go be at peace at where you are and only think positively about the things that you do want that's where things get a little dicey because most people cannot think about what they want with a pure positive energy without also thinking about what they don't want okay so that is your work is to find a way to only positively think about your goals and your dreams and all the things that you want without putting the negativity onto it. You can always find much more information all about the law of attraction by just typing it into YouTube. There's tons of videos. I personally watch the Abraham Hicks videos all about law of attraction. Hopefully if I can turn on even one person to this way of thinking and it makes your life better than I've done my job. <laughs> so that's what I'm going through right now. That's what I'm working on. Try not to be unhappy with the body you have now while you're working towards getting the body that you do want. Me personally, it's all about my career. I feel like I will I feel like I will be happier once I have the career that I want, which is making my music. I'm happy when I'm making my music videos and all of these things. And once I'm able to do them on a day-to-day -day basis all the time, that will make me feel happy. But I have to find that feeling of happiness now so that I can attract that into my experience. I have to resonate and vibrate on the same frequency as the lifestyle that I want. You have to believe it 100%, like it's already coming, it's already here. It just needs time to, to bloom and manifest. So don't lose hope you guys, chill out, calm down, be easy, be respectful to yourself, be kind to yourself and just know that everything is gonna work itself out. The universe is on it girl. The universe is figuring it out for you, you don't have to do shit. Okay, you just have to stay happy and live your happiest, best life as best you can. Search for thoughts that make you feel better in each moment. Life is about moment to moment to moment. I hope that this helps at least one of you guys out there. I love you very much and I will see you in my next video really soon. Bye.